Here we'll use the Pythagorean theorem to help us come up with an important trig identity. At this point, you will certainly be aware of the Pythagorean theorem. Given a right triangle, where x and y are the legs, and z is the hypotenuse, the Pythagorean theorem states that x squared plus y squared equals z squared. The Pythagorean theorem will help us come up with a basic Pythagorean identity. For an angle theta, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Let's see how this is done. Remember the theorem of Pythagoras is x squared plus y squared equals z squared. Looking at the diagram of the triangle, the trigonometric ratio for sine theta is y over z. And the trigonometric ratio for cos theta is x over z. Solving the sine ratio for y gives us y equals sine theta times z. And solving the cosine ratio for x gives us x equals cosine theta times z. So now we have the expressions for x and y. Remember, the theorem of Pythagoras is x squared plus y squared equals z squared. This is, of course, the same as y squared plus x squared equals z squared. Now we'll rewrite the Pythagorean theorem using what we have for x and y and squaring them. y squared is sine squared theta times z squared, and x squared is cos squared theta times z squared. Notice all three terms have z squared in common. Dividing all three terms by z squared gives us sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1 is a basic Pythagorean identity, which we'll be using quite a bit from now on.